So for those of you who don't really remember, there was a specific iPhone that used to be around for a little bit of time, actually for quite a few years, but then randomly last year, Apple went ahead and removed it, but they removed it in a very, very weird way. They didn't go and drop another iPhone right after this. They didn't give a, I guess, another replacement iPhone. They just completely removed this iPhone in, in, just in total. And I do think it was in preparation for another iPhone that actually never ended up coming out. And this iPhone is the 400, again, $499 iPhone price, which was the iPhone 11 at the time. But the weird thing is, is that with this iPhone, this was supposed to be a device that was supposed to be a good priced iPhone for that value. So when you think of a good priced iPhone, you probably, some people probably think of the iPhone SE first or second generation, whatever iPhone, you know, SEs they think of. A lot of people probably think of like a cheaper used iPhone, but the $499 iPhone, in my opinion, was probably one of the best priced iPhones Apple has ever made. And that was something that I really did like about Apple. They just gave us a really good cheap iPhone. It wasn't cheap, but it was a good iPhone and it was a decent price and that was something that I really did like about that device. But as of right now, Apple pretty much has removed all of those $499 iPhones from their lineup. And we're not really too sure what Apple's going to be doing with the future of this lineup either. Are they going to be giving us another $500 iPhone? Are they not going to be doing that? And that is something that we're going to have to kind of play by ear pretty much going forward. Now, the other thing to keep in mind here is that with the iPhone, I guess the next iPhone that was supposed to be taking over this price tag, Apple never released it. I think they were in, I guess they were preparing for the iPhone SE 4 to come out for this price tag, but guess what? Apple just never released that iPhone, and that's basically where we're at right now. I feel like Apple should have probably done something there. I feel like they should have went through and dropped another iPhone at that price. But again, there's really not much we could do there. You know, they could have just, you know, kept the same iPhone. They could have kept the iPhone 11 at 499 even when the next iPhones came out. And looking forward, I'm not even really too sure if Apple's going to go through and actually drop the iPhone 12s down a price tag either. They may just end up going ahead and just, you know, keeping the same iPhone, you know, lineup. They may drop the iPhone 13 mini and iPhone 12 in general, and they may not even give us another iPhone at that $499 price tag. But that is something that is very sad because when I was thinking about it, I was like, that iPhone price was very good. I really did like that price tag of that device. But as of right now, we're not really too sure what's going to be happening. And I'm pretty sure it's like 50-50 whether Apple's going to go ahead and make another iPhone at that price or they're going to go ahead and pretty much just drop all iPhones $499 and pretty much just give an iPhone SE at $429 right now. So that's pretty much how I see it right now. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well then.